Hi guys, welcome to this SPSS assassin video on how to complete paired samples t-tests. So we're going to use these tests if we want to figure out if there's a difference between the means of two conditions experienced by just one single group. So let's imagine we want to find out how far people can walk before and after drinking tequila. So we get them to walk in a straight line, um, we measure how far they can walk, we give them some shots of tequila, and then we measure again how far they can walk in a straight line. Okay, so to set this up, let's go to variable view in SPSS. And what we've done here is we've entered before into this top cell, referring to before alcohol, and we've entered after into the cell below. Once, we, once we've done that, let's go to data view, and we can see that before and after have appeared at the top of these two columns. So we can just copy and paste the data from this table into these columns. All right, once we've done that, let's go up to Analyze, down to Compare Means, and then Paired Samples T-Test. Then we can just transfer these two levels of this <coughs> independent variable into these two spaces. So we'll type uh, we'll move before here, and then we can move after next to it. Once we've done that, we just go to OK. Alright, so we can see that um, before the participants had alcohol, they could walk uh, 9.5 metres on a straight line, and afterwards they could walk 6.8 metres in a straight line. So clearly there's a difference. So then what the t-test is going to tell us is whether that difference is significant. And specifically, what we're going to look at is the sig value. So in this case, it's 0 0.023. Because this is less than 0 0.05, we can say that there's a significant difference in how far people could walk before and after drinking tequila. So if we want to have a look at how to report this, I have an example here. So this is reported uh, in accordance to APA guidelines. So we say, firstly, why we did the test. What did we want to investigate? So a paired samples t-test was conducted to do this. And then we can say that there was a significant difference in distance before compared to after alcohol consumption. And so we've entered the means and the standard deviations next to these levels of the variable. So these means and standard deviations just come from here. So we've got 9.5 here, and we've got 0 0.70, which can be rounded up to 0 0.71. And we have a 6.8 here, and we have a 2.78 here. So we can see the, the same, the same here. Um, so T is this value here, and that's been rounded from 2.729 to 2.73. Uh, the degrees of freedom is just next to it, so 9, that's just the number of participants, minus 1. So that 9 has come from there. And the p-value, as we looked at before, is just the sig value. So that's really all there is to it. Um, if you have any questions, just put them in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching.